You know, Spider-Man, uh, there's too many Spider-Men mm-hmm. and women. Yes. He's not the only Spider-Man, there's too many Spider-Women movies. Are you talking about Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? That's what I'm talking it about, It was a little Mason. bit unclear, but I picked it up from context. Well, look, big, big comic book fans would know mm. that in 1975, uh, Spider-Man's nemesis, the Jackal, cloned both Peter Parker and his uh, his deceased girlfriend, Gwen Stacy. That son of a Jackal. That's right, which culminated in a battle between Spider-Man and his clone yes. for supremacy, which resulted, I believe, in, a, in an explosion which seemingly killed both the Jackal and Spider-Man's clone. And, he was li- and Spider-Man was like... Well, I'm the original, not to worry. Just, I'm just going to dump this body in a smokestack and I'm going to get out of here. But in the 90s, it was re- we, we, we reveal that the spider clone actually did survive. Anyway, there's a whole big clone saga. It went for years. There were so many different Spider-Man and... Fake outs. Fake outs and who's, who's the clone the and who's one. not the clone and just twists and turns and so many weird variants of Spider-Man and mutants and all sorts of crazy stuff. But what I didn't know is that in 1978, there was a Spider-Man television show yes. which... Maybe was an homage to the original 1970s storyline. It seems to well, the, okay. Night, so, the episode Night of the Clones. Night of the Clones, or as I as I would probably call it, two men in Spider-Man costumes uh, scuffle for a bit for about a minute <laughs> right at the end. Yeah, that's what I'd call it. <laughs> If you're expecting those twists and turns and crazy new and characters, you ain't going to get no, it. None no, none of that. We watched this all the way to the end, Yeah. and I got to about three minutes before the end, and I'm like, is this going to be a two-parter? Is the battle between <laughs> Spider-Man and his clone going to you know, be the, be the entire next episode? No, nah, it's just nah. right at the end. So anyway, it starts off, there's some science award that they're going to be giving out And in the New whole York. Daily Bugle is fired up they about it. They can't believe it. they got to split up into teams <laughs> to cover all the incredible science happening. To get the photo photographs of all the individual all the scientists. scientists but they've already got photos of the scientists yes exactly they, they hand out photos of no, the they scientists want them on the street oh, tmz style oh they want them they want some <laughs> candidates of those scientists that's it so parker goes to see the scientist who should have won the award for the past five how years. do you feel about peter parker in this he's 40 years old he's i looked it up just now he's like he's like 28 i think what he's like 28 he was born in 1950 he looks this, like my dad this is nicholas hammond he was uh, one of the Von Trapps in The Sound yeah. of Music. I mean, he's good, to be fair. I thought he was it's quite not, good. Not... He looks kind of old, but I think his demeanor has a certain youthful exuberance. Yeah. And he has a beige suit and the worst hair I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, he does, yeah. So he goes to see the scientist who should have won the award five years running. Yeah. This guy's super into cloning. Dr. Moon. Dr. Moon. So he explains the process of cloning. He explains it really weirdly. He says something like, so instead of a man and a woman and they come together and they, they replicate a person and make a human being and then that person grows from various cells... This is cloning is where you take one thing and it produces asexually. Just say it's a copy. Yes. Just say you know photocopies? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, well maybe cloning was the new thing in the 70s and they're like we better Oh, it was the nanobots of their day. Yeah, it was the nanobots of their day, I think. I've just written here on my notes. God, this show looks like shit. <laughs> okay, here's the thing also. We did we watched what I can only assume is a VHS rip. Yeah. So I'm not going to blame it too hard. But that being said, because there was so little detail in the version I saw, you couldn't you couldn't see the spider legs yeah. on the insignia on his costume. Just a man in pajamas. So it looked like he was wearing a Spider-Man costume, but on his logo was Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. <laughs> That's what it looked like. So we get a very slow segment where we watch a man in real time plant a bomb inside an elevator. Yeah. So he connects the, the box... And then he pulls out the plastic explosives and he and he molds it. He yep. molds it with his hands and then he puts the wires into Makes it. Several and connections. then there's a pump. Like he has he to pump, he has to prime the... that explosive, yeah. And then he gets the detonator and you see him pull the aerial out of really? the detonator. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. And he stands near the elevator because who he's trying to kill is uh, two of the scientists who are judging this award, mm. it turns out. These rock stars who are presiding over this prestigious award. <laughs> That's exactly it. Uh, he, he blows the cables in the in the elevator. Mm-hmm. It turns out it doesn't kill the two scientists. Just grievously injures them. That's right. And there's a woman there who's also the daughter of A one... young Morgan Fairchild, I think. Okay. Mm. And she's the daughter of another scientist who's, who's on the He's not there committee. yet. Not he's the, not there but yet. But, but he's on the committee, she's maybe. Ca- she's come ahead, yeah, to, yeah. to smooth some stuff out. Oh, so we see who it is, and it's bloody Dr. Moon. It's Dr. Moon. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. So we cut back though to the lab mm. and Dr. Moon is also there somehow. At the same time. At the same time. And he goes, I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to do a science, I'm going to do a bit of science for you today, ladies <laughs> and gents. You're going to bloody love this. I'm going to science your balls off, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 
this is my partner. And he, and he holds up a frog and a woman's like, your partner. <laughs> bit of science humor. Probably don't get a lot of science humor around in the journalism school, but this is a bit of science humor. Don't even worry about it, mate. Settle in because I'm going to science your balls off. <laughs> <laughs> or your ovaries, young lady. Yes. I'll science them right off. So he says he's going to clone a frog. At this point, our copy of the uh, of the show glitches. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then everybody stands around for what I assume is several hours <laughs> and watches a frog go from a single cell to a tadpole to a little frog to a regular sized frog. Mm -hmm. And no one's talking. They're yep. just taking photos. That is l like watching a clock. There should have been one of those calendars with all the pages coming <laughs> off as the days pass. Everyone's, everyone's grown beards. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So he signs everyone's balls off. He goes, look, I've got two frogs and they all take photos. It's pretty incredible. Incredible. He had a frog and now he's got another <laughs> frog. The two, the, the species with the most individually distinct uh, beings in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. One yeah. frog always, always different from the other frog but these two frogs identical it's at this point i realized something must be amiss because he has never won this science award despite the fact that he has invented cloning yes in the 70s mm -hmm. what other science experiment even comes close to that right what is better than that maybe this exists in the larger marvel universe and so people are just inventing time travel and artificial intelligence and oh, whatever yeah. in the 70s and they're like cloning who cares we did time travel this year yeah come on man yeah so it turns out that uh because those scientists live that some cops went to investigate and they're like yeah the cable just broke in the elevator so we're not treating it as suspicious we, we investigated it i mean there's all these burn marks on the wall or whatever. and there was a loud bang yeah and there was a man hit hiding in a pot plant with a remote <laughs> control. <laughs> Peter Parker turns up and, he, and he's looking in the elevator and this is where his spider sense kicks in. His eyes flash which blue is and quite, red. It, which is very different in the comic books and in the most of the movies it's it's a precognitive danger sense when yeah. danger is coming right at him he knows it's coming and he can dodge out of the way but in this it he appears can see he's a, through time he can see backwards through time <laughs> he can see a cable a, yep. an elevator cable and he knows it's been blown up yes so he spider-man's into there the bomb is still hanging from the cable yeah so clearly they didn't look into it <laughs> at, at all. all and then a guy uh Looks into the elevator, is like, "Hey, it's Spider Man! Get, yeah, get out cop, of the elevator!" The, shaft. the cop. Oh, that's a cop. Yeah, that's sorry, that's yeah. the police sergeant. The, the, the lead detective is like, "Get out of there!" Amongst that stuff, we haven't investigated at all. <laughs> and they chase him up to the rooftop. Yep, and he does a sweet tumble off the side. Yeah. and crawls down. I respect the web swinging and climbing stuff in this show. There's no web swinging. Not in this. Show. Not in this particular episode. Okay, right. But because they do all of this for real, they just hang a man from the side of oh, the building. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. And so he does kind of moves his hands like up and down. I think they're very proud of the wall crawling. Yep. But there's also a lot of him just skulking about on the ground. When you think of a spider, a lot of the time there's just one skulking along, like going under your door frame or whatever, and you're like, Ugh. yeah, that's like yeah, I don't really generally think of a spider as swinging across the rooftops. That's a really good point, Mason. Mm, so You've never seen a spider inspect an elevator bomb situation? I've never seen that happen. Really? No. Never once. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. I was going to say it might just be an Australian thing, but you are Australian. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> so he goes to uh, the, the head Fun of Fun fact, Nicholas Hammond lives in Australia now. Does he really? Yeah, he does. He retired to Sydney. So they go visit the head of uh, the Daily Bugle, who is J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah. I was surprised. Because it doesn't look doesn't anything look like, like him. him. But he's got the attitude. He does, it's true. So he's, he's Peter Parker's like, look, I've got photos of, of two frogs for the front page. He's like, <laughs> oh, we don't want no photos of frogs, you dumbass. We want photos of an elevator. So he just wants photos of elevator doors after there was an accident. <laughs> yep. You can take a photo of any elevator and because yeah. it's the 70s, nobody checks. Nobody knows. <laughs> nobody checked the actual elevator if there was a bomb in it in yeah. the first place. It was. It looked, from the outside, it just looks like a regular elevator <laughs> yeah. shaft. Yeah. But he's like, we want sexy and we want violence. And not we want frogs. Not frogs. <laughs> and Peter Parker's like, but you sent me to take photos of the frogs. And he's like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> we had a journalism, everyone's balls off. That's right. So he's like, listen, there's a science party coming up and you need to go to this science party and take photos of all the, all the celebrities. All the science, all celebrity science scientists. Celebrities, yeah. And you've got to do it in costume. Yeah. So there's the B plot. So uh, it turns out... Uh, by the way, it's revealed that the evil, the evil clone uh, did did the elevator because the cloning makes you evil. Yes. So presumably one of those frogs of those is frogs regular is and one of those frogs is evil. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you get cloned, you keep all your memories. The clone keeps all your memories. Yes. They just turn evil. They just turn evil. They have a conversation. The the two the two dudes. The, the good one's like, I'm going to knock you out so you don't, can't let, ever leave here. And there's a there's a very short old man scuffle with a <laughs> sure needle. Is. And, the, and the evil clone wins. Mm -hmm. The bad clone takes over Dr. Moon's role. He's now yes. out in the world. But Spider-Man, he can't get a costume. As you said, he's ringing around. Uh -huh. So he goes to Aunt May and he says, Hey, Aunt May, why don't you make me a costume? And she's like, Oh, no, I, I can. Oh, there's one in the cupboard I could give to you. And he's like... 
no, no, I don't want that. I want you to make me one. Or what do you want me to make? Oh, just whatever. As long as it's no effort. Whatever's easiest for you, Aunt May. Well, I could give you this one. No, no, make me one. <laughs> but whatever's easiest. Yeah, whatever's easiest, Aunt May. There's a lot of costume time on this episode. It really it? is, yeah. <laughs> Way too much. Yep, so Peter sees, using his time travel sight abilities, he sees that Moon was the one who set the bomb. Mm. So he goes to the lady who you said is the actor... Uh, Morgan Fairchild. Morgan Fairchild. And he's like, this was an attempted murder, I think, I suspect. And she's like, it would never be a murder, not in the science community. It was just a freak accident. They, those guys both have uh, enemies in their own countries that they're from, and that's probably what it was. Mm-hmm. It's not science related. No. The lady is then called by the, the Moon clone. clone. The clone of the Moon. Climb to the moon. And Spider-Man... Leave your security detail. (laughs) Come visit me. Come visit me. Don't tell anyone you're coming to visit me. Just do it. It's very important for science. She's like, oh, for science then. Yeah, I'm the regular moon. I'm not a clone of the moon. Mm -hmm. So she she goes across town and then in real time we get Peter Parker following her across the (laughs) shops. As Spider-Man. As Spider-Man. But God, he's just... It's a very slow chase, isn't it? Yeah. They put it all in, don't they? Mm, they sure <laughs> do. Every second. And again, he's not web swinging. He's nope. just running. He's just a man running. She meets Clone of the Moon. And he I think he tries to kiss her or grab her. Is that what's going but on? But he's there? also got a gun. Oh, he does have a gun. And we know that because Spider-Man breaks in the window. Yeah. And he immediately turns around and starts shooting. Yep. Peter Parker gets shot. He gets shot in the hand. But he manages to kick his gun away. And then he runs away. And then he runs Spider-Man away. Spider-Man. Leaves with, the gun. With the proportionate strength of a spider and the ability to shoot webs out of his web shooters and web up a dude who might be threatening you with a gun. And he can see the future in the past. And he just runs away. <laughs> he runs away. He, j- he just hobbles down the stairs. He just pop, 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 pop down the stairs. They hide in a vault because there's a very old man looming with a gun. Mm-hmm. Yep. But Again, out- Spider-Man could have turned his head into paste yeah, well, we, with one we, finger. We know that because they get locked in the vault and they're worried they're going to run out of air. And she's like, you're a bad guy, Spider-Man. He's like, that dude had a gun and shit. He <laughs> shot me and he was going to grab you or something. Yeah, right. And she's like, I don't believe it for a second. So Spider-Man uses his incredible strength which he must have been saving for this point. Yeah, I mean, don't waste it on old man who's trying to kill you with a gun. <laughs> Clone of the Moon yes. manages to get some blood of Spider-Man and using the blood of an oily rag, yes. he creates a copy of Peter Parker. Mm-hmm. Hairstyle and all. Hairstyle and all for two reasons. One, so he'd know who Spider-Man was, yep. which I like that that little wrinkle. He uh-huh. just didn't come out in a spider suit. Yeah, right. Which I feel like in a slightly worse show that would have happened. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. So he knows who Peter Parker is. Uh-huh. So Peter Parker visits him and he's like, hey, can you, uh, is it possible for you to clone a, a man? And he's like, oh, not, not in science. I don't know what no, you're don't, talking don't about. No, I don't think so. Anyway, get, get back to my experiment. And yeah. Peter Parker's like, can I see your experiment? He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just, a, just, I mean, it's just a normal experiment. It's not suspicious at all, but you can't see it. So he's got his Peter Parker. He's feeling pretty good. They go to Peter Parker's apartment while he's apartment. out. Yep. Evil Moon and Evil Peter Parker go to Peter Parker's secret compartment. It is an apartment. His, secret his, compartment his, apartment. apartment. Exactly. His apartment compartment. <laughs> and they get one of his spare Spider-Man costumes. Yes, but it's missing the belt. It's missing the belt so you can tell the Spider-Man apart when they fight later. Yeah, for that... 30 seconds. For that, that 30 seconds, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Then Peter Parker gets a an Errol Flynn costume from Ma- from Aunt May. <laughs> I love this exchange because she's like, this is one of your old costumes and I've made it sure it's your size. Why don't you try it on for me to see if it fits? And he's like, I don't have time for that. i got to get out of here. And she's like, oh, come on. And he's like, look, how long have you been ma- making my clothes for me? You know what size <laughs> I am. How long have you been making my beige suits and cutting my hair? That's a very good question <laughs> though, isn't it? Yep. So he puts it on. He's looking good in his Errol Flynn outfit, isn't mm. he? But. Agreed. Hilarity look- ensues. Rips the pants. Rips the bloody pants. Uh-huh. And then he realized, oh no, I do have a costume I could wear. My Spider-Man a costume. Spider-Man costume. So he goes to his apartment compartment yes. and he opens it up and he gets out one of his Spider-Man costumes. At no point does he notice that he's missing a Spider-Man costume. They go to the party and lo and behold, there's three Spider-Men at the party. Mm-hmm. Real Spider-Man, evil Spider-Man. And a secret will save. Yes. <laughs> Miscellaneous fat Spider-Man. Yes, that's right, yeah. So he's, he's, he's there for work dressed as Spider-Man. But then he goes up to the lady and he's like, it's me, the real Spider-Man. Uh-huh. And she's like, what are you doing here? He's carrying his camera. Yeah. People know that it's Peter Parker. What uh-huh. are you doing? <laughs> Telling me, like, <laughs> why would you say that? Look, all the supporting characters are going to be gone by the end of the episode. It doesn't matter who you tell. That's a really good point. Mm-hmm. So he goes to the bathroom to uh, check his hair, I guess. Yeah. Does mm-hmm. he? I don't know why he goes to the bathroom. He goes to change his film over. But, but behind him, who but doth appear? Yes. Is it Spider? Is it other Spider? Evil Spider-Man. It's Evil Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is the line. Oh I wrote yeah, it, it is. Yeah. It's the best. Yep. That's right, Peter. I'm you, and you're me, and this is a gun. I'm you, and you're me, and this, this is, is a gun. gun. <laughs> Yeah. One of the great lines of TV history, I feel. One of the great comic book lines yes. of history. 
So they go outside, they're, they're going to go to the roof and they uh-huh. both put their masks on because they have to because it's the 70s. That's how you do special effects yeah, for back sure. in the day. Uh-huh. And then they just do some punching. Spider-Man loses his belt. Oh yeah, he does. So then you don't know punch. who the real Spider-Man is. But you is. can't really see anyway, so it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't really, really matter. matter. And then one Spider-Man tries to choke out the other Spider-Man, then there's some slow punches. Yeah. Then one Spider-Man is, is on the ground and then the second Spider-Man shoots the web, the one web shoot in this whole show. <laughs> he shoots some web across to an, uh, a nearby building. To escape? And then he then he ties it to a, a pole near him, and then he's sort of flying foxes across the across the web. The web snaps, and he crashes into some sort of electrical transformer and just explodes into nothing. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and then re- and then the other Spider Man's like, "Hey, it's me. I'm the real Spider Man. I survived. Yeah. There's no way for you to know that. There was no clue. Yeah. But I just I I survived. It's I me. survived that. What I love about that though, that implies to me because he's a clone, even though he's evil. That could just happen to regular Spider-Man. Spider-Man. You'd think that he would have <laughs> that's the an sk- accident that could right. befall him. You'd think that it could, and that's the thing; it could very well have. <laughs> he, did he get all the skills of Spider-Man, or is Spider- and Spider-Man's skills are so low that he could do that? That's a really good question. It's a, mis- it's a mystery, isn't it? We won't know though, because he exploded. He exploded. So. Clone of the Moon's like, he's, he's dying. He's like, oh, all the age is catching up with me. And he gets old really quickly. There's some old man makeup going on. Yep. It took me a while to figure out that they were doing that because he's initially an old man anyway. Yeah, it's true. So he's like, well, why don't you... Why don't you admit to me that you and the real Dr. Moon did this yourselves? And he's like, it was all me. I'm the evil clone. Why would you admit that? Also, if I was Peter Parker, I'd be like, well, you're evil. So you're probably lying to me. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you probably did this together. Uh-huh. But it's just believed on face value that the other guy was fine. And then at the <laughs> end, they go back to the party and the police chief turns up and he's there to unmask Spider-Man. Oh, uh, yeah. And he gives him a bit of a bloody drumming down, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Gives him a talking to and he pulls off the mask. And who is it, Mason? It's J. Jonah Jameson. And there's a bit of a kind of... Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. And then Peter Parker, who is also in a Spider-Man costume, takes a photo of it. He's like, this is good for the newspaper, eh? This is going to journalism some balls off. Am I right, everybody? <laughs> But the police chief never goes, hey, you're also in a Spider-Man yeah, costume. Right. Uh-huh. Maybe you're Spider-Man. It just ends. Yeah. That's the end of the show. And you're dressed as a Viking. Maybe you sacked some <laughs> villages a thousand, a thousand years ago. You're under arrest too. And you're dressed as a nurse. I'm arresting you for malpractice. This guy's not smart. <laughs> So that's that's this show. Look, oh. there is a there is a charm to it, mm. and bearing in mind that it is from a very very long time ago. Yes, and it's all, I would say it's almost completely forgotten. All in all, I give this one hundred points out of one hundred. Wow. That's how much I enjoyed this. I give it three Spider Mans out of a possible uh, two frogs. <laughs> one three Spider Mans out of a possible two frogs. What's the conversion rate on that? It's just one Spider Man to half a frog. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Anyway, this has been Caravan of Garbage. We do this every Tuesday, but there's also videos here every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. If you've got something to recommend, please leave it below and we'll probably get around to it at some point. Yeah, we'll get around to it. There is also an extended audio version of this if you want to check that out. I'll link it below. Also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows and that comes out every Monday. Feel free to check it out. We've got an Into the Spider-Verse episode coming up. We might even like it more than this. How many Spider-Mans and Frogs will we rate it? Who's to say? Swing on by Ooh. and find out. Or skulk around on the, on the, on the ground. Do that if exactly. you like. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Grab that, Jimmy, guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.